Well, at the end of painting of the flowers all being done, the garden's basically done. all I have to do is really push up all the leaves and the, and the really bright flowers later with the oils when I want, which is great fun. Could go straight ahead and do it now, but I have to. I want to save this for a demonstration I'm doing, so um, it's ideal for that purpose. Uh, but I want to get as much of the figure finished as I can, and we're now just working into some of the lighter colours that are reflecting over the dress. And we're still playing with our various warms and cools. It's surprising how a little bit of cooler or warmer colour can change things completely. As you see here, I'm just putting on these little details on the uh, dress, which are affecting it tremendously. Mm. Of course, making the skin tone warmer when they do it. Because this is a cream and it's a cool yellow, so it's ideal for just picking out some of these highlights. Don't want to too much of it. I really want the effect of sunlight glistening around us. So the figure is almost there because all I want to do now is paint the darks and lights in around it with the uh, flowers, and I think we'll have what we need. So we'll just do a little bit more in the way of um, decoration on the dress. Just some little counterpoints of light, some lights working against darks here, we just need picking out. There we go, that'll do then for that. I think we'll just put a few more leaves into the, the background around here because it just needs a little bit more filling in places just to bring some of these colours out and make sense of them. That's just to give you an idea. And next time we come back to this will be on the oil paints. And we're going to continue with this oil painting now, oil over acrylic. As you can see my um, oil paints are now ready here. And uh, the acrylics are well dried. My usual palette of paints. With these colours I find I can do nearly everything. The thing I want to do first is continue with the face area here. Uh, you know, that bit that comes below the hair. And the acrylics have sunk a lot, um, and they're rather thin, they give quite a nice effect, but I'm going to be painting a lot more heavily and a lot more impasto now with these colours. I want to work around this area firstly then. And uh, there's this difference between the warm and cool shadows, this lovely violet that's going on under there. In fact, let's take a little bit of a violet straight away and work it into it and just see what we get. See the strength of the oil paint as compared to uh, the acrylic. Much, much stronger colour. And if I'd just painted the uh, the flowers and the, the background in, what we'd almost certainly have found is that uh, it wouldn't have worked because it was not like a sore thumb. <coughs> the stronger oil paints would take over and look wrong. We really want a beautiful vibrance going on here if we can. And it's always a bit uh, worrying when you do something like this because you know, you're painting out something that's working reasonably well already. And, uh, it means virtually destroying what you've already painted, doesn't it? Which always is a bit uh, disconcerting. As they say, leave well alone. I'm going to put in some neat ultramarine here now. And you see the, the strength of that cool. And it can be used as a glazed term. If I thin it down a bit, as I'm doing now, see that uh, <clears throat> the colours underneath are just showing through a bit now. But look how much darker that is to everything else, although that will still sink back as well because this canvas is pretty absorbent. Well, I think we've reached the end with just the oil painting I wanted to do um, because I just established the basic tones and colours and you can see the flowers around her hands and right up into her 
head and dress now. Um, we've really got the basics done to just loosely paint in all of the flowers and just totally enjoy yourself now. I'd been asked to demonstrate at an art celebration day in Mablethorpe, so one of the things that I had planned for this particular painting was to finish it off at this celebration day and finish the acrylics with oils over the top. Quite interesting for the public to see, I thought. Having got my stand set up, got the paint set up in the easel and the camera ready, I was able to sit down and make a start on the painting. The first things I went for were to brighten up some of the red flowers to establish some of the stronger colours and then almost straight into the lovely blue delphiniums. For garden and flower painting such as this, my impressionist broken colour technique is very useful, where you don't just paint one colour in block, you paint a series of colours next to or over the top of each other. In this case with the delphiniums, it isn't just one or two blues, there are warm colours as well. So I started with some cobalt blue, then some cerulean, then worked in some of the darker ultramarines, and then moved through some of the warmer colours, the violets and the purples, and even a little pink as you can see. And playing these warms and cools of the blues and warms, further warms of the, uh, the pinks and the reds against this with the purples really made the colour sing and shine as the delphiniums actually do.